And that's why I feel like I should get a raise. I am not the HR department. Okay, people, welcome back to another Fwoosh review. Today, let's take a look at the Hasbro Amazon exclusive Star Wars Black Series Emperor Palpatine with throne chair thingy dilly. Debuted back at Star Wars Celebration in April of this year. When I saw this, I was like, oh, gotta have it. They debuted it. They put it up on Amazon at the same time. I ordered it. I thought it was going to be later than this, but for some reason they've been shipping out in waves and I got in on kind of one of the earlier waves. I know there's going to be a lot of Star Wars this weekend because this weekend is Triple Force Friday, but I couldn't help it. I got this in the mail and I have to open it. Looking at the package, it's a Star Wars Black Series box. It's that same style. It's just a shape. Well, I don't know. It may be a little bit deeper than the Gamorrean Guard and Moloch, but it's that deluxe type type packaging. Black's still there. The logo's still there. Pretty picture down here. On the side, no number because this is exclusive to Amazon. On the back, blown up drawn picture of the Emperor bio. Down here's the warnings, the unreadables. Don't put it in your mouth. On the side, we get the usual big font of the name of the character. Here's Emperor Palpatine. And then there's Impet on the top, pitch black like Palpatine's soul. On the bottom, legalese barcode. Let me get this open and see how well he sits in a throne. Oh, that's interesting. It's two separate trays in the package. Palpatine's not actually in the throne. I would have never guessed that just looking through the window. Getting it out of the package, there's a lot of old, <laughs> but there's some updated and there's a little bit of new too. So eh. first off, what hits you right in the face, and <laughs> actually that's kind of scary the more I turn it. There's a lot of cloth goods this time around and that's mostly to get him to sit down in his throne. But I will say they've done a good job with this set of cloth goods. The thread count is a little bit smaller to make it look more compatible with this scale, but the big thing here is the hood. They've done some magic here. They've sewn it in a way to where it will lay down. You can see the extra layer up under there where it kind of bunches, but they have some thread right there, right there. So what that does is keep the hood down on the head. My biggest problem with a lot of the Black Series hoods, it sticks up, it sticks out. You got to dunk it in water. You got to wait for it to dry in position and then you can't move it around a lot. This one, you can drop the hood. You can bring it back. You can bring it forward. You can make it look a little bit deeper and darker and it likes to stay conformed to his head. Well, maybe that was a little bit too much, but you spread it out a little bit. You can play with it. That's the big thing. You can adjust it. And I feel like that captures a lot of the emperor. It throws a lot of shadow on that face. This clasp still has the big chunky piece of plastic on the back of it. That's reused from the first Palpatine. This lower skirt is new. It is trapped, but it's a stretchy top material, so you can get some leg movement. There is this plastic belt that is a cap between the torso and the waist. And really, against all this cloth, it kind of sticks out. But, whoop. Not a problem if you do this. I have my PJs. I'm going to bed. Getting past all the cloth, though, just like the clasp, the body is completely reused from the first emperor we got. It's essentially just like underclothes. Wrinkly torso. The arm is actually double jointed, just sculpted like a sleeve. Then you have a full set of pants under here, almost like, well, that dark side garb. Tall boots. Baggy pants, there is a texture to the material there. I, hmm. Even the hands themselves are reused from the first figure. The head that comes on it in the package is the same head. It just has photo reel this time around. But that photo reel is icing on the cake. You get some glossiness to the eyes, some dark side look to it. It's got some yellow, it's got some black. The skin has some flesh tones, some blue, some red. It brings out a lot of the ugliness to it. There's a wash to the gray hair, bring out the detail there too. Mine has a black splotch right there. And it's not on the other heads. But at the same time, he'll boop. Oh, he didn't do it that time. Of course it didn't. But he'll always have the hood on, so it's not that huge a deal. That's what I'm looking for right there. You get back a little bit, all the different colors working with each other. The hood throwing a lot of shadow. Oh, yep. That's Palpatine. Going over articulation, there's a hinge at the neck with a ball on top. Can look up, can look down. Eh, a little bit of tilt. Swivel, arm hinges out, swivels around. There is a swivel at the bicep, double elbow all the way. Up and down hinge at the wrist for maybe future lightsaber action. Then that swivels. There's a ball at the waist joint that allows for a little bit of crunch, a little bit of back. Tilt, 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 tilt. Then of course that swivels. Ball joint coming out to the hip. You can get the leg all the way up. Back, out. That's as far as the robe lets it go. What does it look like without the robe? Eh, about the same. There's a swivel at the thigh. Double knee. Oh, well, 
It being an older figure, or reuse of an older figure, there's just not enough cutout on the back. Hinge at the ankle goes all the way back. Forward, not bad. Forward facing pin for Rocker. For accessories, like I said, the hands are reused from the first Palpatine. He has a grip right hand and then a pointer left hand. This time around, you can pull the hands out and he comes with electrical effect hands. And they're big enough to be kind of substantial, a little bit impressive. I like the translucent blue of the plastic. It's rubbery. It's not gonna snap off if you get too crazy with it. My only problem with them is the paint from the fingers kind of go up into the electricity. I feel like that should be opposite. The blue should be down onto the fingers. Kind of makes it look like his fingers are elongating out and turning into electricity. But on a shelf, with electricity hands, you need a different look to the head, right? Also improved from the first one, you can pop the head off, but good grief is it tight. Putting the other heads on, that's how I got this a minute ago. Trying to get the thing back on. Behind the camera strength. You also get this head. It's painted just as nice as the first one, but he's got that, ooh. Get the hood up and over that. Yeah, oh man, you don't want to piss this guy off. They even made the teeth nasty. That's just oh, so perfect. But that is not all. They also gave us a, you want this, don't you? <laughs> So options are good, but man, ooh, 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 that's the scary one. We also get his cane, all gnarly and shiny and black. This is a complete reuse from the first one. I wish they had redone it to be just a little bit longer because even hunched down, well, I don't know, it does reach if you have him just armed straight down to the floor. A little bit longer where he could hold it kind of like this and it would reach. Yeah, I don't know. I think that would be just a little bit better. And then for the final accessory, if you can call it an accessory, is the throne. This is nicely done. I like how smooth and glossy and black it is, but ooh, it's a dust magnet already. They did a good job with the cushions on the inside, that kind of purplish color to it. But what jumps out at me are the details that psh, I couldn't have pointed out on the throne in the first place, but nicely done by Hasbro here. There's a pointy spike thing sticking out right here. It is a softer plastic, so I'm not too worried about breaking it off. But then down on the chair, you have these control systems with kind of orange and right here same thing on the other side but this one's different there you go and then the base it's actually detailed up under there even though it's kind of hard to see when it's actually on the chair i didn't know this gap was actually right here but it adds a little bit something to the chair itself getting palpatine into the chair though you gotta kind of lean him back and then kick his head forward. He doesn't sit straight up and down, which is not a problem. I never realized it in the movie. I guess as a kid, I always thought, ooh, this thing is a huge, huge chair. You will have a little bit of problem with the hood touching up on the top of the chair. Like I said, as a kid, I thought this was huge, but looking back now, looking at reference pictures, it wasn't that big. His head was almost up to the top. Looking at this picture, the top of the chair is about at Luke's mouth. With the SH Figure Arts Luke, it's about at his chin. So, yes, it may need to be just barely bigger, but this this works. This is actually pretty close. Height-wise, standing straight up and down Palpatine is at about five and three-quarter inches. Here he is with the first Star Wars Black Series Emperor, but I have put custom robes on him. Those plastic robes are long gone. The original figure had a harder plastic for the lower robes. I always planned on getting a third-party throne, having him sit in that, so I got these and, and I never finished the third party thrones. But the big thing here are the heads. The new one with the photo reel, the extra paint apps, it just looks so much better than the original. But the new heads fit on the old one if you wanna upgrade it for your standing emperor and then you can have the new one as your sitting emperor. Well, I thought it fit. Oh, no. Okay, you may have to heat it up a little bit because it seems like it doesn't wanna go all the way down. The hands on the old one don't just pop out. You'll have to heat those up, pull the pin, see if the new hands fit in case you want to fit that over there. Here's the new Emperor with the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Royal Guard and the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series 40th Anniversary Darth Vader. He's small. He's supposed to be. That's good. Same can be said for the SH Figure Arts Luke and Darth Vader. Even though SH Figure Arts seems to be hinting that an Emperor Palpatine with throne will be coming along soon. That's not all. I even have comparisons for the throne itself. Here's a 3D printed one I got a long, long time ago, and then uh, this one's more cast. They're all fairly similar. The two third-party ones are bigger, but this is a finished product. I just bought it. I put them in it. It's done. So maybe someday I'll finish these out, but for now, this will absolutely work. At the end of the day, essentially, it's an old wrinkled dude sitting in a chair with his bathrobe, but damn it, 
It's our essential to the Star Wars universe old wrinkly dude in his bathrobe sitting in a chair. I've been wanting this for a long, long time, evidenced by me going out and buying third-party thrones and robes and getting him ready. I just never had the time to sand and paint and get everything done. So when this came along, I was just like, yep, I'm buying it. It's going on the shelf. Like I said, the chair could be slightly, slightly, slightly bigger, but I think if I had any gripe, I would want hands that look like he was sitting that would just be resting on the armrests. Right now, the pointer finger you can have kind of up like he's talking, but the grip hand always looks like it needs to be doing something, not just relaxing in the chair. And even though I have the older Emperor, I can have him somewhere else, like with all my my troops and stuff. I can put the angry head there or swap out the hands with the electric. There's something. He's still useful on the shelf, but this, this in my head is just the top tier Palpatine. He's sitting. He's running the whole empire from right here. Getting that in plastic form? Not a bad thing at all. The timing is a little bit spoilery though, especially since we heard Palpatine's laugh at the end of the episode 9 trailer. And then this pops up right as Triple Force Friday is about to happen. Oh, Palpatine, you old stinker. Like I said, there is a SH Figure Arts version coming, or at least being hinted as coming. And sitting in the chair, it kind of looks statue-like from the waist down. I don't know if there will be swappable parts, kind of like Yoda. But there's another Emperor coming. So there's something going on behind the scenes, but I'm okay. As long as it gets me more Star Wars figures, I'm not gonna complain. So if you enjoyed the review, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the foosh.